Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, three-dimensional figures and what's called nets. So we um, uh, we make pictures of our three-dimensional figures on a on a two-dimensional uh, plane. Well, you'll sh I'll show you in just a second. So this is uh, chapter 11, our first lesson. So don't forget, all your lessons can be found at that awesome website. Anyway, so our, our question here is how do we use nets to represent three-dimensional figures? Okay, so here we go. So a solid figure, you guys. This looks like a piece of cheese right here. It is a three-dimensional figure uh, because it has three dimensions. It has a length, a width, and a height. Okay, so, so this could be the length, this could be the width, and this could be the height right there. Okay, this is called a prism right here. It's called... It's called a prism because we have a base on top that's congruent to the same base on to on the bottom. Can you see this triangle on top right here? This triangle right here is a base. Well, the same base, the same figure is on the bottom. That's why it's called a prism. Okay, so solid figures can be identified by their shapes of their bases and the number of their bases. So this has two bases here. So if it has two congruent bases, that's why it's called a prism here. Okay, and the shapes of their lateral faces. Look at these lateral faces. I don't know if you can see this, you guys. Can you see this kind of looks like a rectangle right here? What about the back piece, this dotted back piece in the back right here? Can you see that's a rectangle right here? And how about this one right here? This piece right here is also a rectangle. Those are the lateral faces, and the lateral faces are rectangles. And since the top base and the bottom base are congruent, and here they're triangles, it's called a prism. This is called a triangular prism. There's all kinds of triangular prisms. I'll show you a couple more in this uh, in this uh, video here in just a second right here, okay? So anyways, uh, this is called a prism because it has two congruent bases, the top and the bottom, and they're both triangles, and that's why it's called a triangular prism, okay? Here's a trapezoidal prism, okay? So notice um, uh, the front uh, piece, is the, this is the base right here. It's a trapezoid. Can you see that trapezoid here in the front, this kind of blue one here? And then in the very back, there's a, a mirror image of it. It's the same congruent figure. It's a trapezoid also. And look at this uh, piece right here. It's a rectangle. That's a lateral face. Can you see this bottom piece right here? That's supposed to be a rectangle also right here. Okay, and then this back piece in the back back there, that's another rectangle here. So the lateral pieces, the side pieces, are all rectangles. And the two bases are congruent to each other. That's why it's called a prism. And since these bases are trapezoids, that's why it's called a trapezoidal prism right here. Here's a rectangular prism, okay, like a box, okay? So you could have the base as the bottom and the top, or you can even have the base as the right and the left side over here. Or check this out, the front and the back, they're congruent pieces also. As long as um, uh, the opposite sides are congruent uh, polygons, here there are rectangles here, then it's a, it's a prism. And as long as the lateral faces are rectangles also. So this is a rectangular prism. And this is what we're going to start off with here with a cereal box here. So a designer is working on the layout for a cereal box uh, shown. So identify the solid figure and draw a net. And so a net is if we can if we can cut this out, you guys, and cut it out and lay it all out. So imagine if we can take this box and cut it right here cut it up here, cut it right here, and then cut it right here, and then flatten it all out. That's what a net is, okay? So identify the solid figure and draw a net that the designer can use to show the placement of the information and the artwork on the box, okay? So so here we go. So how many bases are there? Okay, well, now you can, it doesn't matter if you want to talk about the top and the bottom being the base, or the left and the right being the base, or the on this one, the front and the back being the base, because they're all congruent. On a rectangular prism, um, you can have you have you have three pairs of bases right here. So typically, we use the top and the bottom for the base. So how many bases are there? There's two bases, no matter if you use the top and the bottom, or the left and right, or the front and the back. And are the bases congruent? Yep, the top uh, rectangle is the same as the bottom. What are the shape of the bases? They're rectangles, so this is called a rectangular prism right here, okay? All right, so let's draw a net figure of this, okay? So imagine if we cut it all out right here. So a net figure, you guys, is just a, it's a two-dimensional figure. It's like laying this all out on a piece of board. Now it's going to be smaller 
I think I'm going to do it right here, you guys. So here it is right here. Okay, so we're going to uh, make a list of the shapes. So the top and bottom bases, okay? So the top and bottom, they're rectangles. The left and right, okay? So the left face, can you see that this is a rectangle right here? And then there's another one hidden in the back back here. There's another one. That's a rectangle also. And then the, see, can you see it right here? I, I highlighted it right there. There's a rectangle right there. Okay, and then the front and the back. Here's the front and the back. Okay, can you see those? Those are rectangles also. Okay, let's make a net. So we're going to draw uh, the net using the shapes we listed in the shape. So just imagine if we can cut it out. Okay, I made them smaller too, you guys. So here's the top piece right here. Okay, here's the bottom piece right down here. Okay, and then it's like if I um, if I if I cut it right there and um, uh, right there and then cut it on these guys right here and then folded it out. So can you see it being folded, folded, folded down right there? Here's the top and the bottom. And so here's the front piece. Here's the back piece. Here's that left piece right here. Here's the right piece right here. Okay, so there's that's what a net... Um, a net figure is that okay that's what they're talking about right there all right so here's a pyramid you guys a pyramid is, a, is another solid figure that has a polygonal uh, shape base and triangles for the lateral faces right here so this base could be a rectangle it could be a square it could be a, a pentagon a hexagon an octagon whatever this is right here but always these lateral faces it always goes up to this point right here and they make triangles right here okay and for now we're always going to have congruent triangles okay when we don't have congruent triangles that's later on when you get into high school they're called oblique pyramids but we don't want to talk about oblique pyramids right now uh, we're going to be talking about uh, regular pyramids so so it's just going to have um, uh, these are these are all going to be the same triangle so that lateral face is the same as this lateral face this triangle can you see the back one in the back it's going to be the same as that one and all of these four triangles are all going to be the same so this is going to be a a square on the bottom right here okay so like prisms pyramids are named by the shapes of their bases okay so this base is a, a square I should have named it a square pyramid but I think this textbook calls it a you know, a rectangular pyramid because squares are rectangles but um, uh, you can call it a regular pyramid also but but they call it a rectangular pyramid because the bottom base is a rectangle it's a square you can call a square pyramid also, I guess. Um, I just didn't see that in your textbook right there. Okay. All right. Notice again that the, all of these lateral faces are all triangles. Okay. So here's a triangle right here. Okay. All right. So uh, what we can do is um, uh, here's a, a triangular pyramid. Okay. Because the base down here is a triangle. Here's a pentagonal pyramid right here because the base is a pentagon. Can you see all the lateral faces on pyramids are all triangles? They all go up into a point. Okay, a prism would be you'd have this congruent pentagon on top and you'd have uh, rectangles as the sides. Okay, prisms have rectangles as the sides. Pyramids have triangles as the side. Here's a hexagonal pyramid right there. Okay, in my classroom I actually have these figures. They're about uh, six inches tall. They're pretty cool. They're great for when I'm teaching uh, these solid figure lessons in my geometry class. All right. So identify and draw the net for the uh, the solid. Okay. So let's look at these lateral faces. Can you see the lateral faces are all triangles? Okay. So this is uh, so describe the base. The base is a triangle down here. Okay. And so the lateral faces are also triangles. So this is going to be a triangular pyramid. Okay. As long as the lateral faces are triangles, it's a pyramid. If the lateral faces are rectangles, it's a prism. Okay. All right. So the shapes you to um, uh, uh, in the net okay so when we when we flatten all this out so the base is going to be a triangle and the lateral faces they're also triangles right here so if we can flatten that out right here here's the base right here and then imagine if I can cut it right up here cut it right there and cut it right there and lay them all down it would get me something that kind of looked like this okay so here would be a, a net figure of that um, uh, of this Thing right here so net figure is if I can cut these out and lay it down flat on the ground right there okay 
All right, so here we have a net figure of a solid uh, and what could be formed uh, uh, by this net figure right here, okay? So uh, the net has only, how many triangles does it have? Well, it only has two triangles right here, okay? So it can't be a, a, a pyramid right here because if it, if it was a pyramid, it would have several triangles, okay? Whatever the base was and it all go up into, I'm, I'm using my hands, they all go up into a point. Uh, to make a pyramid but so this one is not a, a, a pyramid this one's going to be a prism so imagine if we can take this and fold it right there and fold it right there and then fold these two sides up right here it's going to be a the basis for uh, it's going to be a the triangles are going to be the basis for a triangular prism right here okay and it would fold up to look like that so here's these two triangles right here okay and then Here's this rectangle is this dude down here on the bottom, and then these two rectangles are these two sides. Can you see that? Okay, all right, so uh, compare the bases and the lateral faces of prisms and pyramids. Okay, well, the bases of prisms and pyramids are both polygon shapes, okay, so it depends on what the base is. But prisms have two bases, and the pyramids only have the one base. And the lateral faces of prisms are rectangles. So here I have a triangular prism where the base is a rectangle, the side, this uh, right side right here is a rectangle, okay? And then the back side is also a rectangle. Here's that trapezoidal uh, prism right here where it's a rectangle, rectangle, rectangle rectangle on the bottom and pyramids have triangles as their lateral faces right there okay all right you guys hope that makes sense and i hope that helps take care